Breaking news from the world of sports. Three of the most powerful figures in soccer, including FIFA President Sepp Blatter, were suspended for 90 days pending the outcome of a criminal investigation into improper payments and corruption. We're joined now by WSJ Sports Editor Joshua Robinson from London. Joshua, thanks for joining us. What details do we now know about this Swiss criminal investigation? Well, we know that they're looking specifically at two things, and one of them, which is the, uh, the really damning one, is this $2 million, what they call disloyal payment made in 2011 mm -hmm. from Sepp Blatter to uh, the head of European Soccer's Confederation, Michel Platini. Um, so FIFA hasn't yet come up with a great explanation for why that payment was made, but Swiss authorities are looking into it, and it's because of that investigation that now... Um, Blatter and Platini are both banned for 90 days. And there is a third FIFA official who's been banned as well. FIFA Secretary General Jerome Falk, correct? Is he related to this specific investigation? No, not specifically, but in the broader scheme of wrongdoing at FIFA, alleged wrongdoing at FIFA, uh, that's how he ties in. He was separately suspended by FIFA previously mm -hmm. um, for uh, his involvement in a scheme that involved selling from his personal cash of World Cup tickets. And how uh, have all three men responded to these charges so far? They've all denied wrongdoing so far, but there's only so much they can do. I mean, they can't prevent the ban uh, for, from happening for the time being. Even if they appeal it, the ban continues. Now, does this mean that Mr. Platini, who has also been suspended, as we just said, is he no longer considered Mr. Blatter's likely successor? Exactly. Uh, the, the special election to succeed uh, Sepp Blatter, who's been in charge of FIFA for 17 years, is organized for February 26th. But the deadline to get all the paperwork in and to, to prove that you have the nominations is October 26th, four months before the election. So if you are under investigation, there's a very, very slim likelihood that you're going to pass FIFA's integrity check for would-be candidates. So there's a huge European soccer leadership vacuum right now. Who's filling it? Well, the day-to-day -day operations at FIFA are being run by uh, the general counsel, a gentleman named Marco Villager, and the outside counsel they've brought in to really save the organization, which is an American law firm. Uh, they're handling the day-to-day, -day, and they're prepared to do whatever it takes to save FIFA, the institution, rather than any individuals at the organization. But as you said, the elections are about to take place. Is there a robust field of candidates? Well, Platini had been so so far ahead, so considered such a front runner because he had support from all the major confederations uh, that it's it's really thin right now. Uh, that another uh, another one of the candidates today was also suspended in a separate investigation for six years, so he'll be out too. Uh, it really leaves a gentleman named Prince Ali bin Al Hussein, who lost to Sepp Blatter last May, you might remember, mm -hmm. and the electorate at FIFA hasn't changed. This is the electorate that chose Blatter over him, uh, and a couple of ex-players maybe, but no one so far has come out and said they have the requisite nominations to run. All right, Joshua Robinson, thank you. Difficult days ahead at FIFA for sure. Thank you for that.